Hello my friends and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food where I try to teach you how to eat with your dentures. Today's video is what some might consider to be a dangerous video. I have here some peanut brittle. Now I had to put the warning up at the first of this video simply because of YouTube's rules and regulations. They say that anything that can cause harm to a person or whatever, um, I can't quote them exactly, but the simple fact of the matter is I had to put that warning up because this can cause damage to your dentures if you have weak or inferior dentures. Not everybody's dentures are created equal. Some dentures are made very thin. Um, and those dentures can break easier than a nice thick set of dentures. So these are nice and thick and apparently I'm not using anything in the bottom and only denture fit in the top as usual. Now if you don't know what denture fit is yet, denture fit is a soft silicone reline you do at home yourself uh, I'm sure you've seen the ads on Facebook and things of that nature. You can get it by clicking the link in the description. It's an amazing product. It makes your denture fit. That's why it's called Denture Fit. <laughs> anyway, this is something that I don't recommend you try. If you do, you do it at your own risk. So. I've been eating peanut brittle since my first year with dentures and I've developed some little tricks for it. For example, I tend to pry against the bottom denture. I don't just try to bite through it because you can't. I pry against the bottom denture. So I put it in my mouth, I pry down against the bottom denture like so. Well. That one's already trying to fall apart on me. All right, like this. Now I know I made that look easy. Chewing it for me is not that difficult because I've been chewing things for five years. I chew up hard candy, I chew up ice. Things you're not supposed to do with your dentures because it'll wear the teeth down faster. But I can't pass up peanut brittle during the holidays. Mm. I love me some peanut brittle. But like I said, if you're in your immediate dentures, you're probably not going to be able to do this. Um, it's going to cause you too much pain. If you're in your permanent dentures and you're still struggling with a little bit of discomfort or pain or having issues with your denture plopping around on you, things of that nature, you need to figure all that out before you attempt peanut brittle. I guess the point of this video is to show you potential. Things that you can potentially do with your dentures. Now, I have personally never been worried about breaking my dentures. Although I did break my bottom denture in week seven, it wasn't from eating. It was from my immediate denture not fitting correctly. I sneezed, it came out of my mouth, it broke on the concrete. And it was unrepairable, they had to make me a new denture. 
<coughs> but I have personally, <coughs> excuse me, apparently I got a little piece of uh, the candy part stuck in my throat. I have personally never been concerned about breaking my dentures because I wanted to make these dentures part of me and in doing that I wanted to eat whatever I ate when I had natural teeth like carrots and celery and apples and everything else and peanut brittle. You see how I pry down on the bottom denture? That does two things. Number one, it keeps you from trying to bite. I kind of put it on the flat part of my denture right there. And then I pry down. So I break it instead of trying to bite through it. You're not going to bite through this. It's not going to happen. Now you can put it on the side and just quickly like that and it'll break it like this but doing that for some people can cause the top denture to break down on one side or lift the bottom denture on the other side That's why I prefer just prying down on it. It's just easier for me. I keep doing videos about stuff like this and candy bars and cookies and things. I'm never going to lose any weight. <laughs> but I had bought peanut brittle because it was on sale because it's not Christmas yet. So they had it fairly cheap and I bought two boxes of it because I love peanut brittle during the holidays. Now again, if you attempt this, you're doing this at your own risk. I will not be held responsible for you breaking a denture. Okay? I would say that if you're nervous about trying to break it on your teeth or something, find anything that you can use. For example, I've got a pair of fingernail clippers here. Find something you can use, put the peanut brittle in your hand and break it apart like that and just eat a piece. Believe me, your molars are much thicker, much harder to break than the front teeth. The front teeth will break much easier. All right. There you go. Somebody had asked me if I could eat peanut brittle and I wanted to show that I could because I had mentioned that I ate peanut brittle my first year with dentures. I was 
I got my dentures five years ago on a November 3rd. So I've had them five years and a little, almost a month now. And by that first year, by the end of that first year with my dentures, I was eating peanut brittle. So yes, it can be done. And like I said, find something to break it into smaller pieces that you can just chew if you are afraid of breaking your front teeth. If you have any concerns about breaking your front teeth, don't do it the way I do it. This is not something you have to do. To me, this is a luxury. And it was a challenge for me to figure out how I could eat peanut brittle and not have to break it up into little pieces and stuff like that. So it was a challenge to me personally for myself. Nobody challenged me to do it. I challenged myself to do it. And I understood the risk that I could break a front tooth off or possibly crack my denture by putting that kind of pressure on the top denture the piece going in, so the top denture's up here, bottom denture's down here. So when you're prying, you're prying up in the middle of the top denture right here, but you're also prying down on the teeth right here like this. So your teeth can flex, and your top denture as you're prying up can flex. So I knew that I was taking a chance. I understood the risks behind it. I think you can chew up peanut brittle with your molars. It's not really that hard if you're in your permanent dentures and you're eating things like, if you can eat things like peanuts and almonds and things of that nature, it shouldn't be much more difficult for you to chew up peanut brittle. But do break it into smaller pieces if you're even the slightest bit concerned about breaking a front tooth off or cracking your denture. Well, that's it for today's video, my friends. I hope you learned something. I hope this helped you. I'm not sure what next week's video will be about, but I'll figure something out. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Oh, and by the way, I hope everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving. Keep your hands clean and stay safe.